Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting for me to episodes 19 and 20 of Blue Reflection Race. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 19 and 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> Sorry about that. It's 11, 2 minutes to 11.30. I am tired, and I need to go to bed soon so I can go to work tomorrow. Or by the time you see this for, you know, Patreons, it'll be Saturday. I bet you'll also be your respective days. So now is he what are you gonna transform into this weird thingamajiggy? Oh no, never mind. Did she, what's wrong? Oh. Is there a way that we can close it? And let me guess, we probably have to kill Huidi, right? Mm. Well, we screwed! Yeah, they're stopping me. Mm -hmm. Not like that! You can't- you got hurt really bad!
Yeah, because she just doesn't want you to, you know, be with that burden and stuff. She's right. Mm hmm Yeah. Kiori's a completely different person than what she once was. And of course she's going to fight them, because what else can she do? See, I would have expected as the two guardians who are watching over the common that... They w we would get to see them in more mo oh damn Muta, um in more moments seeing those two fight but because we don't get to see that and, and you know I could, they could change their mind something else could happen this is only episode nineteen where we are very very close to the end of this show but who knows. Please kill her. I need her to go. Uta has overstayed her welcome, just like Flotch from Attack on Titan, and I'm ready for him to go. Even though technically I got spoiled on something last week, but it was okay. Yeah, unfortunately we did. Yeah.
But see, the thing is, what if she doesn't come back, though? Once again, a lot of what ifs. See, because my biggest thing is, can Kiyori really, truly defeat her sister? Like, I want to say yes, but at the same time, like, I'm like, no. You can't. Like, seriously, your sister is way too powerful. But because of the fact it's her and Ruka are together, yes, there's a possibility. But still, at the same time, I'm over here like, no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Fucking allergies. Uh oh. Excuse me. Well, okay, then why don't you go ahead and tell her about it, and then we can all be like, yeah, we can't escape from this darkness, or we can change it. Uh-oh. Mm. That's the start of when they knew everything was not going to be all right anymore. Mm -hmm. Hey, Woody. Yeah, because she is your light. Almost in a way like your reason of living. Oh, mama. Now, see, it makes me wonder, that first time that they met when she tried to help her, was that when she knew everything about her? And then she's like, oh, hey, let me come up to you and do this. Let me just tell you the truth about everything, babe. Mm, I guess so.
And she's been there ever since. Let me guess, Uta and Nina are there. And this will be the first time she's going to take that flower out and see. But this isn't right though. Mm -hmm. And in a place where Yoda can be happy. Mm. If you only knew. She watched over her like a damn hawk. Like, Jesus. But I understand why. I get it. But, you, woo! You know, you're up here. You want to come down here. Like, come your ass down. But, he already is her world. And so... And so she doesn't think of this as like a path of darkness. She's just thinking about this is the only way to save Hiori and to give Hiori true happiness. I understand that and in a way it's it it's like this. Do you, it's okay to agree with what um, she's doing, but then at the same time, it's not. So that's why it's like kind of both ways. Everybody's gonna have like a pros and cons and different feelings about this, even when this show aired. And what is like, oh, what's the right thing to do and what's the wrong thing to do? But you do what you have to do. Sometimes you have to do the things that you don't want to do in order to be happy in the end. In order to make, and also in order to make the world a better place, you know.
rotina. Oh. All right. Okay. Now that I mean it seems like Yori's sister is kind of on the good side now and, and now she know has turned into this godlike being and creature. How how are we supposed to kill this child? Um, and then you know, yeah, yeah. What, what are we supposed to do? But I mean, in a way, I kind of sympathize with um Hiyori's sister because in a way, with this series, and this will probably be more in the continue when I go into like the final thoughts of this show. There is no right or wrong in this series, like to do something and to save something because something or someone because you do what you have to do in order to get it done people have to do things in order to have like a better life and because Hiyori is her light and she wants to make her happy you know she's looking at everything as these are the lit these are the things or like a checklist of this is what I have to do to give Hiyori this perfect world because every single time when I've tried the good route I've gotten screwed over so let me go this route and let me try something different but now that like Shino is this big bad being like I said are we gonna kill her with the last five episodes that we do have left with this show are we going to get a like good conclusive ending for the show too is this gonna end well specifically like is she not gonna die are all these girls gonna die because there's a lot of unanswered questions with this and how this could possibly end in the next few weeks specifically like when i get from episodes 21 to 24 but i, I mean I, i've said it once and i'll say it again i need the and, and i'm heavy on the freaking need there needs to be a little bit more backstory on Shino there is still little to none about this character and I hate that like yes I understand that she is a, a type of character that possibly has been in so much despair and we've gotten to see like the tidbits here and there but it's still not enough She's a very interesting character. Don't get me wrong. I like the, you know, her aesthetic, the way she looks, the way she thinks and looks at the world. But at the same time, it's like, what, what the fuck happened to you to make you go like this and to be like this? Like, I, I like, once again, I feel like her story and what her backstory could be, she could be one of the most traumatic characters of all because looking at like Nina, Nina officially is one of the most traumatic characters with the most saddest backstory of all the freaking characters in this show. But with Shino, it could be a whole different ballgame with this little girl right here. And I mean, cause like the last thing I remember what, like she said, they, they found out that she killed like, I think three students. So, okay. I want to know what the fuck made you want to kill some students? Like what the heck happened in your backstory uh, of your history that was so traumatic and made you go into like a downward spiral into being despair like what happened? You can't tell me that she woke up one day and being like, yeah, I want to look at the world in a despairing way. I mean, yes, Junko and Oshima can do that because that's Junko motherfucking and, and Oshima. But Shino, it, it's a whole different ballgame with her because I feel like there is more to her and we're not getting it and that's pissing me off. So that's the little, like, even, even when we get to the end of it and if it's still like this, I will still say that's still going to piss me off and that's probably going to be maybe the one thing that I possibly dislike about this show. 
But, like I said, I can't really say any more or less until we possibly get to the end of the show. Which, we are very close to. We'll be done probably in, like, the next couple of weeks, despite, like, whatever the heck is happening with work and all that. that. And, but, yeah. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 20. Alrighty, episode 20 in 3, 2, 1, go. Wait. Excuse me. Of course. But remember why you're doing this. Okay, so I got a question about the veil. Is is the veil signifying something between them? Like, no, it, it seems... Oh, okay, now both of them have it. Yeah, marriage, in a way, kind of. Do they really need to show this part again, though? I mean, we we just saw this. Just saw this part, like, in the previous episode. I'm thinking they're going to continue right when she know came, you know, floating on down, but no.
I mean, I would have liked to see the fight between Shino and Ryoko, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It wasn't as important. That's fine. No, it was already too late. Because she took control of her. Oh, God damn it. This changes everything now. Well, because it's the end of the world and y'all don't even know it. See, that's the funny thing. Something happens and the first thing we do is we get our phones out. Even in anime, that's what we do. We're like, oh my god, something's going on. Let's get our phones out and record it. Take a picture of it. Post it on the internet. <laughs> You know you can't defeat her.
like that though. But you know, y'all on some oh, a whole different story, Jesus. See, there are times where I feel like in this show, we kind of go into biblical terms. It's very similar on how I felt when we got, like, towards the end of between season one and season two of Fire Force and such. And you would look up something and be like, oh, gotcha with that. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it just feels like that. And so... Mm, like I said, a little bit. When, when I finish the show in like two weeks, because I should be done with the show in two weeks. Oh. Hopefully I can get like a little more like unanswered questions or unanswers that I couldn't get at the time explained a bit more. Oh. Do we just get into everybody's own personal hell again? Yeah, that's exactly what we're in. Everybody is back in their own personal hell. And they might be like this for the rest of the damn episode. Wait, you you tell me the girl got set. Oh, okay, okay. Was that girl? Hmm? 
How though? Oh, that was oh. So of course she's stuck in there. Come on now. Oh. And I kind of thought that was going to get through to her. Yes. Girl, this girl just became double homot uh, homade, except this ain't double homade, this is double chino. It's not going to reach her though. It, 
is that how, oh, okay, never mind. I thought that's how we were ending it this week. Is that Ash? And they're still walking around like nothing happened and they're okay with this? With the way the world is now? Or is this, no, 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 no. This is the other world, isn't it? That's Ash. That's Sheena, ain't it? And Corey's I mean. Oh, come on! That gives me nothing. That gives me nothing because it, it's now it's wondering what did Chino see? And so now now we're finally, possibly finally getting the backstory that I have been freaking wanting for this child since episode one since this girl popped up into this show. Because if we would have ended this show not getting any backstory on this little girl, you know I would have been peeved as I said in the previous episode. But now, like, it's, what did she see? I have so many questions about what the heck just happened in the last few minutes. So, do we just go back into the past when Chino was a kid? Like, before she became what she is now? And the girl, Yuri, and, and whoever else she was on the phone with and talking to? Are we in an alternate reality now? Another one? Are we in a, a different world I'm so I'm hella confused now. Like I said, yeah, when this show is over, we're we're definitely gonna look up some stuff for this. I mean, yes, I have the person who requested this show for me um, to explain, but I think I'm thinking I'm gonna need a little bit more ish, especially with like how this is gonna end in the next two weeks for it. But I mean, you know, I gotta say this was a probably maybe like my new favorite episode. In terms of how it went, didn't really like the little mini recap part in the beginning of the episode because, in my opinion, we didn't really need that because you just showed me what was happening in the previous episode. And to show that again was a little messed up. But it seems like the reason probably they needed to say show that again was either one of two things. One, they probably took a little mini hiatus between episode 19 to episode 20. Or just for reasons, like, typically some anime companies are like, oh yeah, let's go ahead and show this part again, saying almost like, hey, previously on such and such and such and such. Which I've seen other shows, and uh, other animes and live action TV shows and scripted dramas and everything that will show that little bit before they continue after what happened and everything. I get that, but at the same time, it just felt a little unnecessary to just show that recap because it's like... We could have continued right when Shino was, you know, uh, falling ground and floating in the sky and stuff and then just gone there up to the point where this episode ended. But no, for context, you needed to show that little preview from last week over again, maybe kind of to just, you know, remind people, oh, hey, this happened last week for something. Like I said, of course, because I didn't watch this when this was airing, um... Of course, I bet you a lot of people probably had, like, the same feelings as me. Or probably different. I, I think, you know, it, it is what it is. But, like, yeah, the biggest thing is now is, what did Chino see 
all those years ago when she was a child and starting to go down this dark path of where she is now. I, I wasn't even surprised about the fact that in the end she took her own soul and just ripped it to shreds. And that was when, you know, too, you knew she was way, way, way too far gone and that there was no way, no chance in hell that you would be able, that no one, not even Hiyori and Ruka can save this child. But there is a possibility that, yes, they could still save her. Ultimately, we have to wait in the next two weeks to see how this show is going to conclude. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 19 and 20 of Blue Reflection Ray. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the National Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 21 and 22. Bye, guys.